All right, so I still see a lot of confusion going around about the seasons and what's going to stay and all that. Let's just get into what you can do before season one to get yourself set up. So first and foremost, obviously you want to finish the campaign. Really just soak it in, let it ride. I know a lot of us just blasted through that. And now we're sitting in the end game with jack shit to do. So explore the story, side quests, whatever you want to do. Just in, in this point, in this stage of the game, really just try to enjoy it as much as possible. The end game is really lacking. So if you haven't hit that level 80 mark, that level 75 mark, and you're like, what is he talking about? I'm having a blast like everything after the campaign has been amazing yeah so uh we'll just glide right by that really just enjoy the story enjoy the game besides that once you're getting into that season prep mode all you need to do is get the altars of lilith so it's a one-time thing it's gonna suck throw on a podcast throw on some music whatever you guys do to just get your mind kind of engaged while you go and mindlessly run around i mean it's really not that bad. There's only like 28 to 35 per zone. So you'll you'll get it done really quick. You can even do maybe one to two zones per day. I mean, there's plenty of time before the season comes out. But get those altars of Lilith. As you're running around and doing that, get the map exploration. I believe that's going to be the only other thing besides the altars of Lilith to carry over in your renown tree. Or sorry, in the renown board. So you're going to want to get that done, but you're already going to be running around the map. So it's kind of like you're doing them both at the same time. But besides that, all that's left is you're going to want to pick a class, you know, really just go around. As you can see, I started a barbarian uh, a couple days ago. So we're starting this now, trying that out. It's been a lot of fun, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I was trying to do the level 100 push, trying to go for it. I just, I would do a couple dungeons and get sidetracked and it, it just wasn't fun. I mean... With the upgrades to XP, I don't know if you guys saw the patch notes. I could do a video on that if we need it, but there's a lot of stuff floating around. But yeah, guys, so pick your class. Do the Altars of Lilith. Map exploration as you're getting the Altars. It's all in the same ballpark, you know? We're all playing the same game of baseball here. I have no idea what I'm talking about now, but, <laughs> but really, guys, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to do. Pick a class. Enjoy the game right now. Don't worry about hitting 100. Don't worry about killing uber lilith and getting two characters to level 80 or whatever it's not that much to do once you do reach that pinnacle and i'm telling you right now 80 to 100 is a grind that <laughs> i wouldn't wish on my worst enemy you know what i mean so anybody who did that who sat in blind burrows for six hours hey hats off to you man but yeah guys that's what i'm gonna be doing you're gonna be all set up and ready to go if anything new drops any new information releases i will drop it in the comments and i will pin it so if the devs release, hey, now we're actually going to keep dungeon completion through the renowned seasons, you know, whatever. I will let y'all know in the comments. So just check that out. If anything gets updated, it'll be right there. Other than that, that's it. Trying to get this quick and easy for you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the game and hopefully you're going to stick around for season one because I promise it's going to be better. Well, I mean, it's fucking Blizzard. Hard to promise when, uh, you know, you got a company like that. But uh, moving on, moving on, moving on that's it hope you guys enjoy much love i will see y'all out in hell baby